So as we all know that the festival season is coming and the sales of all of the e-commerce stores and product is gonna be super super high. And for that I know that you are super excited about getting too much sales but on the other hand you are a little bit confused as well. Because as the demand is going to increase the competition, the storage and the advertising cost is also gonna be super super high. So in that case how you can tackle all of this situation and get the maximum profit out of that season. So in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you my five best tips which I have actually learned from my past couple of years experience so you can also learn all of those tips and start implementing all of these tips on your e-commerce store so you can not repeat all of those mistakes which I have made in my past and you can just utilize that season fully to get the maximum profit out of that. So this video is going to be super super beneficial for you and if you watch this video completely till the end without skipping any of the tip and implement all of those tips which are completely free to implement then you can just actually sell your product like a pro because this is actually the information which most of the big sellers are actually implementing but they don't tell anyone. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnels and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon.com right now and here I'm going to start explaining you all of those 5 tips. So the tip number 1 is, you just need to modify the content of your listing a little bit like you can just insert the word gift or holidays into the title of your listing, into the bullet points or even in the description for at least 1-2 to two months. So when you use these two words in your listing, then the chances of your listing to get ranked in the gift category or on the gift keywords will be super high and you can just get an extra free traffic from all of those keywords in which people are actually looking to buy some gifts. So for example, in front of you, I have just searched a keyword gifts for men on Amazon. And after searching, when I go down, I can see many of the listings of different products which can be giftable. So for example, in this first listing, you can see that it's a toolkit. And if you read the title, you can see a gift word in that. Like if you start reading this title, you can read Super Universal Socket Tools Gift for Men. So as you can see that they've inserted a keyword gift for men in the title. And I can see this listing on first page of Amazon. And if I go down, I can see this thing on each and every listing. You can see that in every of the listing, there's a keyword for gift for holiday and for festival. And if I start opening these listings one by one, so I can see these keywords in the bullet point and description as well. So if you modify the content of your listing for some days, so that will give you the benefit. And when you start getting traffic on your listing and people start reading your content, so they will understand that this product can be giftable. Because in the festival season, most of the people are looking for the product that can be giftable. So this was the tip number one. And the tip number two is similar to that. You need to add a gift ribbon on the main image of your product listing. For example, if I go up and I see this listing, on the left side, you can see that this is a massager gun and you can see that they have just included a gift box on their main image and this is a white color box with a red color ribbon which shows that this product can be giftable. However, I personally don't think so that this product is a good gift but still, you can see that they have just added this gift box on their main image and they have just added Christmas gifts for men massage gun in their title. And by doing that, their listing is actually ranked on page number one on the keyword gifts for men. So mark my word, you can just see that listing, you can just copy the ASIN of that listing from today's date and you can just monitor the sales of that listing throughout the December and that will be super super high. And I think this will be enough for your understanding like if you make these two changes in your listing, so your listing can actually perform far more better than it's performing right now. And now the tip number three which is you can actually turn on the option of giftable item on your product listing. So in that way, if someone is ordering your product to actually give to someone so they can just check the mark of gift and Amazon will wrap your product into a gift paper and send that product as a gift to the customer for which any person has ordered as a gift. So to turn off that option, you need to go on Seller Central, Manage Inventory and right after on your product listing, you need to click on this edit button. And right after landing on this page, you can see that there are multiple tabs on the top. So you need to click on this third tab which is offer. And when you go down, so at last you can see that there's a block says gift options. And here you can see that offering can be gift message is gift wrap available. So you need to make sure that on all of your listing, you have these two options check for yes, because you want a gift wrap available for this product and you want the gift message available for this product. 
So for example, if someone is purchasing your product to gift someone, so they can just actually order Amazon a gift packaging and a gift message. So Amazon will take care of this stuff for you and this can actually increase the chances of getting more and more sales on your listing. So now the tip number four, which is advertising. So if you are running the PPC campaign for your product throughout the year, then in this season, I recommend you to split that budget to 70% to the outside marketing from Amazon and allocate the 30% budget to PPC. Because in festival season, the bids of the PPC on many of the keyword will be super high because everyone want too much sales in that season. So you don't need to do this mistake. You need to allocate the 70% budget to the advertising outside from Amazon. Like you can run Google ads, you can just run TikTok ads, which are super, super cheap as compared to PPC. And you can just allocate that 30% budget on the PPC and on the PPC, you need to make sure that you don't target any of the keyword, which include holiday, gift or festival because you have already added that keyword into your listing and that are enough because that is free. But if you target that keyword into the PPC, so in that particular season, in holiday season, all of those keywords will be having a super high bid. And not only the Christmas season, these keywords are having super high bids in any of the festival season throughout the year. Like on New Year, after New Year, it comes Valentine's Day and after that it comes Easter and Prime Day. So in any festival season, these keywords are super, super highly competitive. So if I go on my PPC manager and from there, I can just see that these are the keywords which I can just target. So in front of all of those keywords, you can see that in the third column, I can see the suggested bid. So you can see that the wooden hanger is a keyword and the suggested bid is $1. Wooden bead is a keyword and the suggested bid is $0.35. So you need to make sure that you only target all of those keywords who are having bid $1 or less than that. And if you see any of the keyword having bid more than $1, so you just need to delete all of those keywords from your targeting. And if you do so, so you can save a lot of lot of money on your PPC and utilize that money wisely to get sales and get rank. And for the rest 70% budget, which I've just told you to utilize on outside traffic. So for that, you need to go on my YouTube channel. And here you can see this TikTok playlist. You can see that I'm having multiple videos on this playlist and the name of this playlist is how to sell products on TikTok. I will put the link of that playlist in the description of this video so you can just go there and watch that playlist. And you can see that in this playlist, I have almost covered each and every topic like how you can run TikTok ads and how you can just promote your product, your Amazon product on TikTok for free and for paid advertising. So if you just watch this playlist and implement all of this thing to your Amazon listing, then you can just actually get far more better sales in a cheap price. So now the tip number five, which is the most important tip, and that is recall the extra inventory from the Amazon FBA warehouse to your house or to your warehouse. Because as you all know that in the festival season, the storage cost of Amazon will be super, super high depending on the weight and dimension of your inventory. So for example, that if I go there and if I just open this listing, the same listing which we have just got an example, if I just quickly run the Jungle Scout extension from here on that listing, so you can see that Jungle Scout is showing me the current sales, the daily sales and the monthly sales of this listing. You can see that right now this listing is getting 335 sales per month. But if I click on this number, then Jungle Scout will show me the sale of this listing throughout the year like from the January 2021 till October 2022. So from this graph, you can estimate the sale of that listing. Like for example, the sale of that listing was 200 in June and the sale of same listing got 1000 in December. I'm just giving an example. So that means the factor is five. Like the sales from January has increased to five times in December. So by using that factor, you can just implement that factor on the sale of your product in June and multiply your June sale from that factor. So you will be able to estimate that how much sales you will get in December. So as per that estimation, you only need to have the inventory of your product at Amazon FBA warehouse that you think is sufficient to pass the December season. And the rest inventory, you can just recall from Amazon FBA warehouse to your warehouse. So you can just actually save a lot of money in storage. Because as you can see here in front of me, I have just put the ASIN of the same product on Amazon FBA calculator. And when I go down, so you can see that Amazon is showing me the different FBA and storage fee for that particular product from January to September and October to December. So you can see that from January to September, the storage cost of one unit is $0.12. And the storage cost for the same product in October to December will be $0.34. 
which is approximately three times higher than the whole year. So if you want to save your money, so you can just recall the inventory back from the formula, which I have just explained to you. So believe me guys, if you implement all of these five tips to your Amazon FBA listing and account in this festival season or any of the other festival season, then you can just sell your product like a pro. You can save a lot of money and make a lot of good profit. So after watching this video, go there, implement all of those strategy and just come back after that festival season to my YouTube video and let me know how much profit you make in this festival season. And I'm sure that many other people will actually do this. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.